Welcome to the lesson on the Atlas. Now, Atlas mythologically, of course, supported the world on his shoulders, and the Atlas, in a similar way, supports the head. The Atlas is unlike other bones. Other bones, you can see, are very different in their shape. Of course, this is magnified. This is bigger than it should be. But look at the difference in shape. The Atlas is actually more like a washer or a spacer. And because of that, it doesn't move much. So when it gets stuck, it can maintain a specific position. And the atlas, you'll be surprised to learn, commonly goes lateral and anterior on the left. That's a very, very common dysfunction. And I want you to start looking for that in your palpation, that the atlas goes lateral and anterior on the left. Yes, other positions are possible, but that is the most common. So as we discussed in the introduction, the atlas tends to go lateral and anterior on the left. There's a few ways you can move this very gently. One is to use your fingertips, just one on each side of the atlas, and you turn your head down for your patient, and to then move the atlas toward the right and posteriorly, you say, Drop your left ear to the left shoulder. And now I'm pushing the atlas posteriorly and from left to right. And you'll hold it and then it will release. You can also get it by using your index contact. So I can use my index contact in here. My index is right here on the atlas. And we say left ear to left shoulder. And that also works. If you have a very, very tight atlas, the best way is to use your pisiform bone. And you get it right on the anterior part of the atlas. And you can feel the atlas uh, right here, just below the TMJ. So I get my pisiform right on the anterior part of the transverse process of the atlas. And I say drop your left ear to the left shoulder. And that's a more powerful way to move it because the pisiform bone is very powerful. There we go and that feels much better. And that's how you move the atlas.